Hi there, YouTube. Dominic, the CX guy. Dominic, the Zendesk guy. Welcome to another video. Today's topic is going to be how to use the drill in function from Zendesk Explorer. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Zendesk Explorer, it's the reporting tool from Zendesk, which allows you to analyze, uh, distribute information with your team, with your management, uh, and analyze performance and understand exactly how you can improve your product and how you can improve your efficiency in your team. Before we begin today's topic, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel, like the video and comment if you want to see some special content. This question comes about uh, by somebody asking it. So yeah, I'm creating another video. I, I like doing these ad hoc. I don't necessarily, I have a schedule, but I also like to do these uh, quick videos. So now about the drill in function from Zendesk Explorer, it's an amazing tool that allows you to, as the name suggests, drill into the information to surface more of the uh, ticket information that you would like to see. In this case, I'm going to go through a simple example where you want to follow tickets uh, created within the last week or within the last month, and you want to see unsolved tickets and you want to drill in and see those exact tickets, right? So you want just want to look at, ex, um, at your reports and I'm going to go into the dashboard that is already available uh, out of the box Zendesk and I want you to see those on sale tickets and then be able to look at those tickets individually and see exactly where they are. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So share screen. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay, where is it? Should pop up any moment. Um, All right, you should see it. All right, so this is our test account where we have plenty of tickets. And we're going to go to explore. Okay, so there's this uh, beta dashboard builder. It's also nice and I advise you to have a look. This is our dashboard that is a copy of the out of the box. So the out of the box that comes with your Zenesk is this one, Zenesk support at least present the support. We're just going to stick to this one for now. Uh, you cannot edit this, by the way. You always need to duplicate this in order to be able to edit it. You cannot go into this uh, Zendesk default and edit it, right? You need to create a copy of it, which I've done here. You can obviously see it by the copy within brackets. So click here to look at these um, pre-built reports, right? So this is very standard, but very useful nonetheless. And I am very happy with what I have here so far. So the filter for time currently is set for, okay, so for the last month, right? So from the 14th of uh, March until the 12th of April. So yesterday, I am a little bit confused because yeah, this is American style uh, display of data, of date. I, uh, yeah, I'm used to the European one, <laughs> but that doesn't matter for now. So what I, specific use case seeing unsold tickets for example i would like to see all of these uh, just click here right to make it easy for myself and just uh, yeah see what those tickets are now in order to do this what i need to do is i first need to edit this dashboard this is going to take a while to load but not very long all right so i'm selecting my query right the one that i want to edit click I want to edit the configuration and I'm going to scroll down to drill in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable drill in and now it's going to ask me for the attributes that I want to drill in with. And in my case, I don't want the most popular. I don't want to, but I don't want the most popular. I just want IDs, but let's look at uh, the most popular. And these are the ones that are the most popular, right? So ticket ID, ticket status, group, brand, it's a channel form. This is all already available within here, uh, within these uh, this dashboard, the uh, in with the other filter. So I don't need these, right? I just need the ticket ID, and I'm not going to select anything from there. I'm just going to click ID and just activate it, right? And now I have uh, it'll select my attribute, which is ticket ID. And then what I need to do now is I need to publish, publish. So this saves my. Uh, my setup. Okay, now I'm going to refresh my screen. Everything, every time you make a setting in Zendesk, please refresh your screen to me, make sure you have 
uh, that change takes effect. So I am in here, right? And now if I click this, it asks me, drill in? Yes, this option has appeared right now. It was not here before. Click, click, and I have a pop-up, which now shows me the ticket IDs of those tickets, right? So on solve tickets, here we go. One, 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 which ones, wherever it says one, it means that it's unsolved. You can obviously go in here and show more uh, detailed information, but this is just a, this is what I want for now. Click this, right? So this is a ticket ID. You can just take this ID and open it in a different tab, but I can just click it and it shows me this additional toolbox, open link, and it shows me the ticket, right? And then the, with the ticket ID, this is a new ticket. Fortunately, this is a testing testing. So this is a test and it's uh, it's okay that I have not answered it. So it's fine, right? So yeah, I think uh, this is it. Of course, I can also export this uh, in a CSV or an Excel to view this information in more detail. Let's export the Excel preparing download. I hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot because I don't have Excel. I, I only use uh, Google Docs, <laughs> uh, but let's see what this looks like. Okay, my my downloads, save, XLS, click it, and it's supposed to open my, yeah, here it is. So these are my ticket IDs. It's not very convenient because I don't have the URL. I need to, yeah, copy this and then go to my support in here and change the ID with that, uh, with what I have in the table. Yeah, so this has been it. Yeah, this is how you enable the drill function in Zenas Explorer, and you can use it to your advantage to surface more information about your tickets, mainly to, yeah, navigate to tickets quickly and see what the hell is going on. Alternatively, of course, you can create a view and have those tickets nicely in a in a list and you can go through them easier if you are a manager, but this is another way of doing it. So yeah, I hope this, this has been helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>